on the capacitor. The electric field inside can be different if you put the insulator in between the plate. And this comes from the term polarization P here. Okay? So, from this relation, we define the new quantity. And we call it the electric displacement. The electric displacement, and we call it D, the electric displacement. We define it to be equal to the epsilon zero E plus P. Okay? Which, if we look at the magnitude of the electric displacement, is equal to the sigma F. Please look at this definition. It is quite important. We can see that we can say that the displacement B at D tells us the ability to create the electric field. The, the uh, electric displacement is the ability to create the electric field. Why I say that, you will see it uh, soon. Uh, first, you can see that if I do, if I calculate it, epsilon zero d, epsilon zero d, Okay, is equal to the epsilon sigma f, epsilon zero sigma f, and epsilon zero sigma f is equal to e zero. What does it mean? It means that if we multiply d by the epsilon zero, it will give you e zero. So it means that. The epsilon zero d gives you the electric field between the capacitor if you don't have the insulator. Okay? If you don't have the insulator, the epsilon zero d will give you the E zero. So it means that before we say that if we put the shard into the plate, we get the electric field in between. This is when, we, when there is no insulator in between. And it is, we may call this the ability to create the electric field. But once you put the insulator in, the electric field inside change. Okay, so the change in the electric field comes from the insulator. Okay? We may write the Gauss law for the displacement d as the integral of d uh, surface integral of d dot dA is equal to the QF. We call this the Gauss law for the displacement. We will go back to this point later when we talk about the electric uh, electromagnetic uh, wave. But for now, just you don't have to worry about this for now. We will say that if the polarization of the material can be written as a constant times the electric field, we call it the linear material. And we call this chi E as the susceptibility of the dielectric. Okay, the susceptibility of the dielectric. And when we have when we work with the linear material like this. We can write down the displacement vector as a e zero time uh, epsilon zero time e plus p, and p is equal to the epsilon zero chi e time uh, chi e time the electric field. And if you group this, you will have that f uh, d is equal to something time e. 
and this thing is equal to the epsilon zero times one plus chi e. We call this the permittivity of the dielectric. Okay, and we can write that d is equal to the epsilon e. If this is a little bit complicated, but what I want to point out is that we have before that. We have before that d is equal to the epsilon zero e zero. Okay, from this. Oh, sorry. D um. No. We have that. Is equal to the. E zero divided by the epsilon zero. We will okay, and we also have that d is equal to the no. Okay. Put it this way. We have that e zero is equal to the d over epsilon zero. Okay, and we have that e is equal to the d over epsilon. Okay. It means that if you have the same d, if you have the same d, you may have the different electric field inside the the capacitor. If the conduct uh, the insulator, if you put the insulator in, and when you put the insulator in, what you have done is that you change the value of Epsilon zero to be epsilon. Can you remember that on the first day, I I told you that this epsilon zero is the permittivity of the free space. Okay, and I told you that I, we will discuss this later. When we say that it is the permittivity of the free space, it means that it is the property of the free space that tell us how can how will the medium. In this case, is uh, the free space will allow you to create the electric field. Okay, so it means that if you have the same d, but you have the different value of the epsilon, you will have the different value of electric field. So it means that if you put the electric, uh, if you put the dielectric into the capacitor, you may have the same d. What is the same d? You can see that from the definition, d is a charge, free charge density. So it means that if you put the same amount of the charge on the plate, but if you change the medium, it means that if you put the insulator in, you will change the value of the electric field with the same amount of the charge on the plate. But you will have the different value of the electric field, okay? And when you have the different value of the electric field, the result is that you will have the different value of the capacitor, uh, the capacitance, okay? You will have the different value of the capacitance. Uh, we may go to. Uh, This point shortly on on Monday, but what I want to point out here is that when you put the insulator into the capacitor, you will change the value of the capacitance, and the most important thing is that you can increase the value of the capacitance. You can <coughs> the capacity of the the capacitor will increase if you put the The uh, insulator or the dielectric in the in between the plate, 
of the capacity or the capacitor. Okay, that is a very important point. Okay. This is very important point in practice because if you want to create the the capacitor that keep more energy, it means that you have to build a capacitor that can keep. Uh, you, you may think that okay, if you want to keep more energy, you put more charge on the plate. But that is not practice. Somehow, if you put more charge, it can damage the capacitor. So the practical way is that you put, you not put more charge, but you put the insulator in between the capacitor, and then it will increase the capacitance of the capacitor without. Uh, increase the amount of charge, okay, and that is a very important point. Today, I I I tell you that many people are interested to create the device that we call it the super cap. It means that it is a capacitor that can can uh, store a large number, uh, a large amount of the the energy. One way to do that is to develop the good uh, dielectric and put it in between the capacitor to create the the capacitor that can uh, keep large energy. Okay. So I will stop on this point today, and before we leave, just do the test.